my West Ham preview. Really excited about this one. You know, I feel like we're on a really good, you know, run of form now. Um, aside from the Premier League, you know, we're, we're through to the knockout stages of the Champions League. Played some fantastic football throughout that. I think it's obviously our Roma games let us down. But overall, you know, I'm really happy with the team and I'm happy with the way Conte's rotated the players round so that we can sort of prioritise, you know, both, not just one. Um, so, yeah, I'm really thrilled with that. And more than, more than excited <clears throat> for our game against West Ham. Oh, I'm not really a fan of, of their new stadium, to be honest, but nevertheless, early kickoff 12.30. For those of you that are going, um, I'm going to try and make it last minute, actually, so I should be there to see you, but Rory and Charlie are going to be there regardless. Anyway, um, let's go through my team then. Now, stay tuned to the end of this video because I have a little announcement and a thank you for you all. Um, anyway, yes, my team. So, I've not really changed much of it, if I'm going to be honest, but you, you guys tell me if, if I'm right. Um, obviously Courtois is in goal, uh, that speaks for itself. And then I've gone with uh, Cahill, Christensen and Dave. Um, I've not put Rudiger in the team this time, uh, not because I don't think he's doing very well, I just feel like this is, this, this is the back line I want. I think it's more solid for West Ham away and I think we're, we're although they're not doing too well, I think we're, we're prone to letting a goal. Um, and I think that, you know, Christensen I need in and I've actually quite liked having Cahill in the team recently. I think he's, um, I think he's been decent, comment below if I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, that's, that's who I'm going with. And then obviously in the middle, I put Bakayoko and Kante. Um, <clears throat> a lot of you aren't happy with Bakayoko's performance. I know he made a few slip ups uh, in the Champions League fixture against Madrid, Atletico Madrid uh, midweek, but I, I, want, I want to give them time. He's going to be fantastic for us. I really do believe that. I just feel like he's got to find his feet and I think all the criticism at the moment is a little bit too far and too much. So I definitely think he's going to be, you know, a star player for us. I think it's going to take a few months for him to settle in. Uh, so those two are in my middle. And then Alonso's back in the team. Uh, I have to have Alonso back in. Um, I think he was rested for this game. That's the only reason I think Conte wouldn't have put him in um, the, the, the Atletico game, um, which was, I think, probably a bit silly anyway because we could have we could have done with having him in the team. Um, I loved Apacosta, but he wasn't in his correct position. Um, and anyway, and then we go on to Victor Moses. Now, I, if I'm being honest, would have preferred to put Zappa Costa in here, but all you guys are, you know, really, really keen on having Moses, Moses in the team recently, so I'm going to go with, you know, your, I'm going to go with your opinions and follow your lead, so Moses gets in there for me, and then I have gone with, obviously, Hazard, Fabregas and Moretta. Um, <clears throat> I'm really, really liking Fabregas playing further up forward, I think he's playing some fantastic football for us, I was really, really, I'm really impressed with him lately. And so he gets in the team, and then obviously Hazard speaks for itself and Morata up front. Um, would love to see Batshuayi come on now. He's 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 recovered from his injury, so I feel like you know he's he's going to be a good option for us if things aren't going well. Probably in around about the 60th minute. Um, but yeah, and in regards to William and Pedro, they were both fantastic when they came on um, against the Vlasco. Absolutely brilliant. But I, I want to stick with this team for now because I feel like at the moment they're performing better coming on as subs. So. That's the way I see it. If things aren't going well, I'd rather bring them on because, you know, they're, they're a fresh pair of feet and... Fresh pair of feet? Is that, is that a word? Fresh, pa fresh pair of legs. There we go. <laughs> what am I talking about? Fresh pair of legs, yeah, if we need, if we need it. So, <clears throat> uh, it's not that I don't want to put them in, I just feel like they are much better coming on later on in the game if things are going a little bit south. So yes, comment below, have I got the team right? Um, let me know your thoughts, who would you have rather put in? And yes, uh, finally, I would just like to thank you all so much for your support on the channel. We are ne nearly at 35,000 subs, so please, 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 after this video, comment below and please, if you like this video, subscribe and hopefully by the end of this video we've reached 35k.